Go over to Todd, 97.1. Yes, Todd? Hey, how you guys doing? Good, Todd. What's, What's up? up, Todd? I just want to comment about Verlander. As a Tigers fan, i got to be extremely concerned, not only with the injury, but what comes with the tricep injury. The next problem that they got to be looking at is the elbow. If Verlander has elbow issues, he's really going to have to learn how to pitch, be a finesse pitcher instead of that power pitcher that they call. Because he doesn't have great stuff. He's got his fastball. Well, the fastball's not great anymore. Yeah, exactly. And part of the reason the fastball was great. He's low 90s now. Right, and part of the reason the fastball was great is because... He's got to learn how to be a finesse pitcher like a Glavin type. And he doesn't have that stuff to do that right now. So there goes there goes your number two, possibly number three pitcher. Right. Number three at Todd, the worst. Todd, I think you're a little bit far down the road. Jamie, you, you had thoughts. Go no, ahead. Todd just had a weird pause. So I thought he was done. Then I started talking, but he was just pausing. Well, now, now you're up. Well, part of the reason was, you know, he mentioned his fastball. His fastball contrasted with his other pitches is what made him such an effective pitcher because he could go 100 and then he could dip down into 87 and have, you know, a great curve coming from the same arm slot. My concern with Verlander is that he's searching for answers when the answers are right in front of him. I'm not suggesting he's not hurt, okay? I'm not suggesting his arm isn't bothering him. Well, today it's clear He wouldn't cut short a simulated start if his arm wasn't bothering him. But to go back to to Todd's call on the great fastball, the great fastball doesn't exist anymore. And I think Verlander is so stubborn and so competitive that he thinks it's still in there somewhere. And it's just a matter of either a a slight tweak here, watching video, uh, injury, soreness, whatever. And it's like, you want to say to him, Justin, you're 31. 32. 2001's not coming around again anymore. I mean, this is this is who you are. 100 is not happening anymore. It's never going to happen again. So he's not going to be Tom Glavin, because Tom Glavin never threw 100 even his wildest dreams. But he's got to change himself in some way to make himself an effective pitcher again. But first, he's got to get healthy. We should find out some answers here coming up shortly. Yeah. Um, we Here's what I want to do. All right. The, the stuff should start coming out of the clubhouse immediately because that's going to be a number one today, I would think.